Did you know that Elementor recently released a new Hello Biz WordPress theme that probably in future should replace Hello Elementor WordPress theme? They were following their previous trend of creating the simple and easy WordPress themes that are not bulky and they do not slow your websites down. So without the further ado, let's dive in and check what's the difference between this theme and Hello Elementor theme. Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to test Hello Biz WordPress theme made by Elementor previous week. Since the theme is free, we can easily add it by adding a new theme and typing Hello Biz. And then we can click install on it. And then we will activate it. In this case I used the previously imported template from Elementor just to have some content to show you and as you can see this is previously used by Hello Elementor team and now if we refresh it it stays the same without any changes even if you used Hello Elementor before but if you didn't made any custom code changes and child themes so when we return back to the WordPress backend after installing the theme, we are welcomed by Welcome to Hello Biz WordPress theme section that allows us to begin set up and install the theme properly. And we can see that we have a Hello Biz option on the left side, uh, which contains Home and Settings. If we click Home, we will see the options from the theme. And if we go to the Settings, we will be able to adjust specific settings for the theme like SEO and accessibility, structure and layout, CSS and styling control. By clicking home under the Hello Biz menu, and if we are using a plain WordPress installation, we can start by using a begin setup that will install Hello Plus WordPress plugin that's also made by Elementor. After installing the plugin, as you can see here, on the left side, under the Hello Biz menu option, we will have additional option appeared. If we click on it, it will open Setup Wizard window, as you can see here. And in my case, since I already have installed the WordPress template, it will say that the setup is already complete. But in your case, you will go through the setup where you can choose the template kits that consists from five different templates for now but at least in the future they will probably add more since those templates are exactly the same templates that are used in the Elementor in the backend when you are installing the templates from the Elementor option. In my case we will be able to see the preview of the website and we can customize the, the site options. If we click it then it will return us again to the home page of the Hello Biz theme settings. Under the quick links we will have ability to click on the site name and customize the site name and site settings which consists from the from the site name, site description, site logo and site favi icon. If we go back, if we check here we see the site logo with the customize option that leads us to exactly the same place where we can where we already saw that we can edit the logo and the uh, title. The next option is for the site colors. If we click customize here, it will take us to the global colors where we can add or edit existing colors that are predefined here. Now we can go back again. And here we have the site fonts option. If we click to it, it will similarly to the colors takes us to the global fonts section where we can edit or add new global fonts for the page. Now we can go back again. Below it we can see a recent page that shows us a list of the recent pages that we edited and allows us to customize them from here. And on the right side we have the general options that allows us to add a new pages and edit the settings of the theme, which takes us to the settings from the left side. And here we can edit those settings too. Additional difference between Hello Biz and Hello Elementor WordPress themes is that with this theme we get the Hello Plus plugin that contains five different additional widgets for your website. Those widgets are separated under the Hello Plus group and they are Zigzag, Hero and CTA, Flex Hero and Form Light widgets that 
allows us to edit our websites even more. I believe that in future they will add probably more widgets to this plugin. So now I will quickly reset this website and show you how it behaves on the empty WordPress installations. But before I show you how to set up it on the empty WordPress installation, if you like this kind of videos, please leave a like and uh, subscribe to the channel for the future videos like this. Also, after you watch this video, please leave a comment below. What do you think about this theme? Do you think it will replace Hello Elementor and would you use it for your future projects? And what's your general opinion about it? So let's begin with the installation on the empty WordPress website. On empty WordPress websites, if we click begin setup, it will again install the Hello Plus plugin. But in this case, uh, after installing the plugin, it will take us to this page where we can choose the template kit for our website. From here we can choose like nine different templates that are almost exactly the same like the ones from the Elementor, but these ones are adapted to fit this theme better. So you can click any of those to see and preview how they look and you can apply kit to install them on your website. After applying this kit will be automatically installed on your website and after that you can edit it and uh, make changes as you want. My honest opinion about this newly created WordPress theme is that it's in some ways good to have options like here to, to open and edit the special settings that we want from here. Instead of going to the Elementor, going to the theme builder, searching for the footer or header to edit them or going to any page and opening it with Elementor in order to go to the Elementor settings and set the colors and fonts that you want to use. The only thing with this theme that I consider that it's not that good is do we really need the additional plugin with a few widgets or more instead of adding them to the Elementor. Leave a comment and let me know what you think. See you in the next video.